Uh, well, I tell you, we bring a lot of combat power, uh, the destroyer does, to the fleet. For destroyers, ever since World War II, it's always been about defending the carrier. Uh, whether in perimeter defense, uh, in air defense, uh, whether in sub hunting, uh, we operate with the carrier strictly to make sure that she's safe wherever she's going and to get her anywhere around the globe. The Aegis weapon system, the weapon system that all the destroyers and all the cruisers have today was based upon World War II in shooting down kamikazes. So what they wanted to do is design a missile system and a radar system to complement it that could reach out and shoot down a kamikaze or as things evolve, an incoming missile. But that's the whole reason that these types of ships were built. ODTA, we have multiple inbound tactical aircraft bearing 090. When we fly into and out of the airspace of the carrier, we actually check in on the radios with the um, one of the destroyers before we get passed off and we're like cleared to land on the carrier. You know, sometimes it may look like to a casual observer that we're just kind of out there on the water doing our own thing. But every move, every course change, every speed change, everything is, is carefully orchestrated. You know, on the bridge here with, with the sailors that we have, this is where we drive sort of the daily business of a ship. Uh, it's a ceremonial area, uh, so whenever we're up on the bridge, it's always very formal. Uh, the next really, really uh, key compartment on the ship would be Combat Information Center. Uh, all stations air check bridge track 80466. That's where all the sensors, uh, from uh, control of the, the five-inch gun up forward, uh, to where we launch our missiles, uh, to where we uh, launch our torpedoes, all the weapon systems, they can be launched from a combat information center. Uh, that's kind of the hub and the heart, the, the, the center of the ship, particularly the destroyer when, it, when it's out at sea. with birds. Uh, the next place, you know, that I would probably take you to if, if I had a chance is down to Central Control Station, which is the heart of engineering. Uh, the pride of destroyers is, is their speed. I mean, we can go fast. We've got four gas turbine engines, 100,000 shaft horsepower. What you would see down there is this very simple console, but it manages a very uh, complicated power plant that produces the power that, that powers all of this here. The next place I would uh, probably take you uh, then would be uh, the flight deck. Uh, again, we have two helo hangars, and uh, we can receive uh, two helicopters as a detachment on board. Basically, the air traffic controller passes control to me, and then I talk to the helicopter and basically tell them what the ship is doing, you know, what our winds are, um, what, what course we're driving on, uh, what the pitch and roll of the ship is. Hey, if it flies in the sky, we can take it. If it's coming underwater, we can take it. If it's sailing on the surface, uh, we can take it. We've got the missiles, the guns, the weapons, but more importantly, the sailors uh, with those special skill sets. And that's kind of our mission, our mantra, uh, to be able to uh, provide that combat power anytime.